Oh, yes. Ow. Ow! Stop it! That die wolf's a very good boy. Ow! 31! Good god, how the hell did it take that? Um, no! I've got to stop doing that. I keep meaning to click on other people. Uh, pre spell. Uh, is anyone actually really low on health, or is it worth me? What can you do? This spell cures one or more of non mental hostile. No, we don't want to do that. Calls down upon one of your foes, inflicting a magical blow. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> Missed. How do you miss magic? Uh, these people are atards. Alright. How much magic does it cost me to do all this? I don't think it costs me that much, does it? So, jobs are good. Kill you! You're dead now. What are you gonna do, bad boy? Ow. Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna do when I stab you? There you are. Stabbed. Uh, okay. You're the only one backed up in a corner. <laughs> I see how this is going. Stabby stab! Uh, do I want to heal someone? Yes, yeah, sword. Bullshit, let's heal someone. Because I'm nice. Can I get you from that range? No, I don't think I can. So for no apparent reason, I'll heal you. And you can just walk around. I don't know how to pass turn. So just walk around till you got no ability points. Dog comes along, kills it. That dog's effective. Is that it? Yeah, cool. That's it. There you are. And that's first proper combat in this game. Uh, what's the one I'm wearing at the minute? Eight stone. Plus 12 armor. Okay, well, I've got it anyway. Boots, you need boots. Curved. So, so let's just take everything. Then decide what I want. Crude bow. Yeah, I suppose you do want that sooner or later. Or, oh, yeah, because you put it there. I knew that! I knew that! Don't you look at me that way. Boots. A stick. A stick. Brilliant. I'm so disgusted by that, I think somehow... I'm, can you throw it out? Oh, did something he's not supposed to there. Uh, no, you obviously can't. <laughs> Alright, let's keep him for now until I find out. Uh, where are the rest of the people who do it? Well, oh, okay, is it you just press get and jobs are good? Good die, whoa, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. One there. I think you need arrows to fire them, right? Talking, it doesn't respond. <laughs> Alright, let's go anyway. And... Da, 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 da. You move cautiously down the corridor. You are past Lagrin's thugs, but their leader is still ahead. And without the key, you doubt you will be able to escape this pit. This is a good time, if you haven't already, to save your game. Yeah. I, I stress to point out at this point, I'll probably just put it in the description because I haven't. Uh, Tenarium. Save. Probably point out at this point. Game okay, saved, cool. That I am playing on normal. I'm not playing on easy mode, because that is for gays. Okay. Clay pot, clay pot. Woo! Stealing off your ass. And the items disappear, that's a nice little trick. Get. What? Oh, what, I've got to go right up to you? No, okay. You're <laughs> just. That one is decides not to be there. Cool, I see how it is. That was where I was in the beginning, by the way. That is where you start off, you get chucked into an entrance. I think you get thrown down. That's why there's not a door. And yeah, right. Let's go up to you. You round the corner and come face to face with Lagran, a petty thug with delusions of grandeur. When he gets a good look at you, he realises perhaps his plan to build a new empire within Avon... Avernum is not going to work out, and yet he doesn't give in. He stands between you and the locked gate, leaning to the exit and snarls at you. You notice dark stains around his mouth. Perhaps he's eaten something recently that is sticking with his brain. That, that makes sense. He points his blade at you. You got past my warriors? And what? They are dead? Well, I will get more. The Empire sends down more killers every day. Avernum won't take them, but I will. You notice that he is holding something in his offhand, but you can't tell what it is. Uh, yes, I did. No, I still have the key. I can start once again. Once, dot, dot, dot. You are dead. I won't let him throw me into the abyss. Come on, he charges you. His warriors, seeing no other option, regretfully follow him. Wow, morale sounds high in their camp. 
Right. Uh, who have I got selected? I've got you selected for no apparent reason. Okay, cool. Now, this is where the magic happens. Uh, Die Wolf isn't around. Which just saddens me. Stabby stab! Wow, he has a lot of health. Stabby stab! Okay, well, let's go for him first. Uh, so let's keep your help. P, uh, and death. Cool. Shall I get the dire wolf again? Yeah. It's good. The hell is that? No, 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 no. I don't care how many people hit me. What the hell is that? A venomous worm. How long is it going to take to go over there? Oh, that, that was a mistake. Stabby stab. Stabby stab. Oh, you're crap! You ain't even poison! Waste of time you were. Woo! Right, and now, what's this do? Days. No, no, that's, that's a bolt fight on Lagrand's ass! He has a lot of health, believe it or not. Who'd have thought it? I am also unsure how the magic power, or mana, whatever you want to call it, and health. Replenishes. I haven't looked. So it may just replenish on my own by. Poison! They actually did something useful. Okay. I forgive you, man. I forgive you. Can this do a mage spell? No. Oh, let me see. No, okay, it can't. Well, let's try. Smite all of my mighty smite. 23. That's not bad. Uh, bottle fire. Obviously, healing uses a lot more. Lagrand is wounded. He is bleeding and exhausted. Exhausted? He barely moved. Ah. No, you will not stop me. I have stop one thing. I smuggled. He raises his left hand, and you can see that he is holding a glass globe. Goodbye, fool. Enjoy your new life of certitude. He smashes a globe against the floor. A cloud of lavender smoke spreads out, choking you, confusing you. Lagrand runs and turns towards the gate. The key in his hand. Oh, damn it to hell. Okay. Brilliant. So this is what Confused does. Lagrand has a free pass to the exit gate. He puts his key in the keyhole, turns and shoves the iron bars. The moment they are open a few inches, he slides through and runs upstairs. You immediately hear a commotion coming from above. Commotion. Come on, baby, do the locomotion. No, okay, we're not singing that. I assume it is that I'm just Confusion. Woohoo for achievements! Yay! Pointless achievements. Well, reach civilization, if you want to call it that. Okay, so someone is now cool. Let's kill the archers first, because they do a lot of damage. Stabby stab! And stabby stab! Stabby stab! There you are, just one dead. Okay, so now that's poisoned. What do we want to do with you? You can just go up and hit this. No. Select that, and go and hit that. You'll get there eventually. I don't want to use any magical power because I don't know how much I've got. Everyone seems to be fairly alright on health anyway. How crap are you as archers? Poison. You know what? I forgive you, little venomous worm. I forgive you, man. You've been alright. And these thugs are rubbish anyway. Stabby stab. Now you're dead. No poison. Oh, you crap. Anyway. And stab one more. All the way around. Oh, come on, he's got that little health left. Safe Stab. There we are. Woo! G. <sighs> Bag of meal. <laughs> Tried mushroom powder waiting to be made into bread. Mushroom powder being made into bread. What kind of chippy bread is that? Uh, all right. And another crude dagger. Do I not get anything else? Obviously not. So I can't... Can I go through here? Oh, I can end the combat. Oh, okay, so I can go through there. But first of all... Okay, this... Oh, brilliant. Huge rats. God's sake. Oh, yes! I I think... Oh, okay. Ability points eight. That's how much I can move. <laughs> wow, I'm slow to catch on. Okay. I knew that, really. I knew that, really. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah, just stab you, man. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ow. Oh, cool! My venomous worm is still with me. Alright, stab me. And let's get 
you just don't want that one. Got another round of crappy attacks. I hope I get magic power back. Um, because it could be if I don't. Uh, okay, thank you. I'm gonna heal. Minor heal. Tenarium. And stabby stab. And stabby stab. Stabby stab. Woo! Uh, end of combat. Value 25. Sufficient to sustain life is not, if not happiness. Ability to eat food. Ah, heal. Okay. Rock, rock. Flawed crystal. Okay. Those are flawed crystals there, though. Oh, okay. So I can get those, but I can't get the pots from earlier. Where do I go now? Oh, there's the water from the other side. Chests! Chests! Oh. Or not. Ah, oh, that's how you do it. Sheet of papyrus, sheet of papyrus. Hello! Paravine. Paravine. It's actually a pretty cool game, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not usually into this kind of game, but this is something I'd definitely play a bit more of. Maybe on here, you never know. I seem to be terrible at continuing games. Ah, up we go, let's save the game. Quickly. I wonder if I can play S5 and everyone's really getting annoyed. Oh, we'll see and see. Um, Doki Doki Portal Guard the hell is this? It sounds like I've suddenly gone up to a market uh, Run over oh, God, This is a long one, I'm going to read it You emerge from the dark tunnels and your claustrophobia is immediately replaced with vertigo You are on a fort within a gigantic cavern The stone ceiling arcs hundreds of feet over your head as your eyesight adjusts you look around to the world of Avernum for the first time. You are inside what looks like some sort of fort. It made of huge blocks of stone, roughly mortared together. Wood must be rare down here. Only the doors are made of it. There are a few old trees nearby. More fungus than wood, though. Then, when your awe at this strange sight fades, you notice the warriors. They stand around the lip of the pit you are in, weapons drawn. Some of them have already pointed their bows at you, ready to fire. As you prepare to defend yourself, a man comes running toward the lip of the pit from the south. Stop, stop! He shouts, don't fire, let me talk! Thanks, because I'd have been buggered. Okay, where am I going? From the south. So from down here. Okay. Andrew. It's a nice RPG name. A small man runs towards you, waving his arms. His skin is incredibly pale in strange light from his the fungal ceiling. When he reaches you, he stops and bends over. Oh, I'm not sure I like where this is going. Hands on his knees, breathing heavily. Oh, I definitely don't like where this is going. When he regains his breath, he says, Don't attack! Oh, thank God. I am Andrew, the greeter. We are Avonites. We are here to welcome and help you. Why weren't you here when we arrive? A thug named Lagram just came through. Did you catch him? Andrew looks embarrassed. We tried. When he ran out, his face was covered. By the time we were sure he was the killer and not an innocent arrival, he had already fled. Well, anyone could have come through. I was the one who just defeated him. Andrew takes a step back and inspects you. You have the look of a warrior with some potential. Everyone's been telling me this. It is good. With all the forces that threaten us, Avernum needs warriors like you. And you just let him escape? I'm sure he will be found. What happens to me? Well, your new life begins. Now that you have emerged, I have something to say to you. Take me. No, don't say that. As Andrew speaks, the guards nearby watch solemnly. Each of them went through the same ceremony. The beginning of a new life. Andrew says, on behalf of Avernum, I welcome you to your new home. Here in the darkness. <laughs> what a way to welcome me. Our lot is hard, but we are free of the crushing hand of the Empire. We offer you peace and aid, as long as you aid us in return. He smiles weakly. That is all. We have some aid for you. Then you can go out and start your new life. You called yourself the Greeter? Oh, that's not sarcastic. It quite it isn't. It is my task. I wait for new arrivals, such as yourselves, and welcome them. He bows. Welcome to Vernum. <laughs> I want that job. <laughs> if it's that easy, I want that job. Um, Avernum, what does that mean? In ancient times, Avernum was one of the names for the underworld. It was the place where souls...